You don't have to be a ring card girl. You can be a champion. Why walk when you can strut? If you think body language doesn't matter, you are mistaken. Today we have some yoga to warm up your shoulders and your hips and your spine so that we can do the Conor McGregor strut. That's right, the millionaire strut for her. Before we start to do the Conor McGregor strut, we're gonna do a few warm ups. We're gonna do some cat cows and they are to loosen up kind of our, our back and our midsection and our chest. Um, additional shoulder warm ups. We're gonna do some nice puppy pose because uh, that will help limber up our upper body. Um, and finally, we will do a little in-place work and get to strutting. So, all right, come onto the mat, all fours, drop the belly, inhale. Ooh, that feels so good. Maybe wiggle around a little. Ooh, and exhale to cat. Inhale for cow. Ooh, everything's opening and spreading. Exhale. I sometimes like to do a little rotation this way. Probably a good idea, help get their shoulders warmed up. A little back and forth. All right, um, it's also gonna benefit us to get a little more into the shoulders. My shoulders are always tight. I work in an office, I'm on a computer all day. So a little ooh, puppy pose. Feels good. If you haven't done any sun salutations today, you might want to do some of them. Yeah. From basically Tadasana, we're going to have our chest open and lifted, chin up. We're going to start moving the shoulders. Bend the knees, move the shoulders. Remember I told you we're going to do some ab work too? Everything's moving in opposition. And slowly, you're going to start getting those arms into it. So we're going to be warmed up. It's kind of rolling that shoulder and that elbow through the hand. There you go. That's right. Now, focusing on the lower body for a minute. You're basically going to be leading with your heels. And this is the strut part. So don't be afraid to kind of bend those knees a little. Start working the arms into it. It's all going to look a little bit different. None of us are Conor McGregor. We don't need to be Conor McGregor or Vince McMahon. Stole it. Steal it. Um, but you get that flow. Open chest, chin lifted, you're exuding confidence. You're rolling those shoulders, you're getting the hips into it, right? So you don't want them going. You're not gonna do the same side. You want them in opposition. So the foot that's moving and the shoulder and the arm that's moving are opposite. It's really hard to do standing still. When we walk, we normally counterbalance. So the McGregor Millionaire Strut, it's the, gonna also counterbalance. You're really gonna feel it in your abs. The Millionaire Strut can be a little faster, maybe you got somewhere to go. I think it helps if you think like, I'm a badass. I'm a badass. All right, we're gonna get the shoulders involved. McGregor Strut, McMahon Strut, my strut, your strut, they're all gonna be a little different, but they can all be fabulous. Taking a moment to say thank you to those women fighters that came before. Christy Martin, the name finally came back to me. Um, Layla Ali, Holly Holm, Rhonda Rousey. There are so many others now to pick from, I know. So thanks for joining me uh, as we went over the basics of Conor McGregor's Millionaire Strut. Hopefully you want to uh, get it into practice, maybe use it a little, job interviews, getting that new bathing suit on when you go to the beach, walking into yoga class. That's right. You're like, yeah, I'm ready to vinyasa this bitch. Have a good one.